Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where things are getting a little crazy. Because after months of working towards the final space elevator part in the game, we're now actually getting into some complicated material. And not just spamming 20,000 of one random material as we have been. Big problem though, that you might be able to notice, is that we're kind of running out of space to build big mechanical setups. And later this episode, after I allocate some of our last remaining pockets of space, we're gonna have to start making some expansion plans. But that is something we'll focus more on later, because right now I have a goal today, and that is to automate 100 heavy modular frames. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of manufacturers. But we have a lot of stuff to do before we can actually get to the frames. Uh, main thing is, we have weird little pockets of space like this, and I want to fill them with as many machines as I can for little projects that we have still on the to-do list. For one, we need to make some AI limiters, and we only need like 10 assemblers for this. So we can fit, what is it, 5 here? Looks like it. Just get rid of the last one. Maybe another 10 down this way? 3 there. Read over here, get rid of this first one for some belt work. And after the usual application of spaghetti, we now have our AI limiters. Again, it's, it's not a lot, we're using the only recipe for them. And the only reason why we want a couple is so we can make electromagnetic control rods. And we already have a huge supply of stators, so we just have to go and grab a belt of them and bring them to somewhere. Well, specifically to a place that has 12.5 more assemblers, except we have to find a place for those extra assemblers. Now we do have this area here, but this area is all gonna be a, a belt work nightmare. That's at least the plan. But then we have a pretty decent chunk of unallocated space right here, both on the left and right of these train tracks. And you know, it's only 12 and a half assemblers, right? Well, 13, I guess, because we're gonna have to underclock one. We could probably fit that in here. Just like three here, another three there, and uh, another three there. And then we just need another three and we're done. Yes? Can I mirror this? I can. And okay, cool. So three, six, nine, twelve. Belt spaghetti. And another little system is done. Luckily, the belt work wasn't too bad. Like, I found a tiny bit of space to bring these over over here. And the AI limiters, well, things are getting a little out of hand with them. As we have continued to build and build and build, we are running out of space practically everywhere for belt work. So it's just like a maze every time. Trying to duck and weave through other production lines. And specifically, over train lines. Oh my gosh, the train lines are an annoyance. Ah, but I keep making it work somehow. But very quickly, the world is turning into this. And that was just for the small projects today. Now we're actually gonna move on to the big one. That's right, the heavy mods are their frames. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with them. They're kind of like the first, like, oh my goodness, kind of item in the entire game. And for good reason, they're a little spooky. The Isaac recipe needs five modular frames, or 10 per minute, 30 steel pipe, encased industrial beams, and screws. <laughs> if you use the default recipe, which I do not recommend. Uh, we, though, are going to be using the heavy encased frame, which needs pretty much all the same stuff, except concrete instead of screws. Only problem with it is these numbers are just like, bro, what's happening? Like 7.5 modular frames per minute? 9.375 encased industrial beams? Like, what's going on? And then we get 2.813 heavy modular frames per minute? <laughs> like, what? But fortunately for us, for this entire project, we're doing everything in like an overflow method type system where we're not balancing the belts. We're just making precisely the amount of things we need throwing them into machines, and then pooping out whatever we want. So here we already have all of the modular frames done and ready to go. Then we have steel pipe just being made all over the place. And our concrete is all centralized here. So for the astute among you, what ingredient are we missing for our heavy modular frames? 
That's right. Encased industrial beams. Which we just have to throw together in some assemblers, and then we can start on the manufacturing. And after working on our mini projects here, I see the plan. I see a path where we can start making the encased industrial beams there, and then have them weave their way across the entire biome to somewhere over there. And then once we've ducked and weaved through all this, well then we can figure out the manufacturing and some expansion plans. So without further ado, let's get started on things. Uh, what is the recipe again for these things? Uh, we're not using the default, we're using the pipe recipe. So steel pipes and concrete, we have both of those. Makes four industrial beams. And according to my notes, we need 334 of these, which will be <laughs> 84 assemblers pretty much. Fantastic. Do you think we can fit 84 assemblers here? Oh, I don't think though. <laughs> this is very much so gonna be a rolling thunder type project, brother. Where things will be produced in one location and then scoot over to the next. Good thing it's assemblers though. These guys are cute and relatively easy to work with, especially with this blueprint that I have pre-made here. And as for the floating mergers, I don't really like the look of that, but we should be able to make it to work if we just throw in a pillar underneath. See, now it looks like it's sitting on top of something. It's fantastic. But then because of a funky stuff where we can't really have a pillar, we will throw a floor underneath here and we'll zoop that over and paint it something a little bit different so people know like, hey, this is like an add-on to the factory. It's part of the plan. And it's not just random concrete jutting out for no reason. At least that's the headcanon I like to employ. And the plan is pretty straightforward from there. We just try and fit in as many of these as we possibly can. We can centralize some of it. Because the more we can pack together like this, the less crazy belt work we're gonna have to do bringing items all over the place. You know, I think we're off to a good start. Three, six, nine, twelve, plus another six, eighteen, plus two, twenty. Oh, wait a second, that's not a lot at all. That's like... 24% of our job. But wait, wait, wait. We can also build down the cliff here. And then in here, could we get anything done? Technically, but we're getting into the danger zone with clipping. So maybe we just call this complete here and start doing the balancing. So with the uh, 24 machines, how much steel pipe is that? 28 per minute? What is the, these numbers, man? Can you get a full Mark V belt into this? Oh, great. Oh, yeah, we're gonna play some video games today. Let's go. Okay, what's 24 times 28? <laughs> okay, 672. And then for concrete, we need 480. You see, why can't all of the numbers be as nice as concrete? Hmm? Ridiculous. See, we just get a Mark IV belt, plug that into here, and no need for balancing. This is all the concrete we need. So concrete on location. I'll do the rest of the connection belt work in a second after I find the 672 steel pipe per minute. Now, I have all the numbers written down on spreadsheets and stuff, so I know how much material we need and I know that it's being made. But finding it? Oh, well, that's another story, bud. Do you guys see any steel pipe? I don't see any steel pipe. Just, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh wait, random patch of constructors, steel pipe, ooh bud. Okay, wait, goes into this bin. Did I write down how much is actually in the bin? No? Great job, kids. Really helping me out here. Okay, well looking at all these machines, there's one belt. I'm sure this is enough steel pipe, probably. And how far away are we from our project location? Oh, we're right there! Oh, that's not bad at all. All we have to do is get over the train track. So usually how I go about that is I zoop together a big pillar frame. Then I put down a conveyor lift. That goes up to like here or something. I don't know. I kind of eyeball it. And off I go across the way. Zoop up another one. Place it just like so. Connect. Ah! Don't connect them up and cry a little bit inside. 
Okay, we'll just put this here temporarily. Connect it up, and then for aesthetics, well, this can just go bye-bye. Okie, great. Now that this is all built, we can put the final thing there. Get rid of that. And that will be pipe in just any moment. Any moment, there we go. And the bridge looks pretty cool too. Uh, I did do the math though and counted up how much steel pipe is here. And long story short, we have a little bit extra. And I think it's about 60-ish per minute extra. And that will just exit through that belt there. Or really, you know what we should do? We're gonna combine all these extra little belts at some point later on for some other project. So we should hook this up, that up, and then have a belt like this going this way. Since we have a smart splitter, we'll have most of the material go straight, and then the overflow will go up to somewhere else. And with that all done, it's time for some editing magic. Thanks for the help. That is set one done. So as I was laying out before, all the belts will end up going over this way, at least with the encased industrial beams, past the concrete source, and then over to here. Ooh, what's this? Piece of candy? Three spots available for a couple more assemblers? Oh, you better believe it, bud. Wait, five? Huh? No, it's more like four, but hey, that's fine. Wait, no, it'll be five once we get rid of that. Perfect. Okay, so that's another five. More space for me? Game you shouldn't have. And as we continue to work our way through, I find more, I spam more. And what was that now? That's six, another six, and five. Cool, another 21 machines, yes? Mm, checking the numbers, I think that's 17, but you get the point. All the belts from that will then go underneath here, and woo, more. More spam, more spaghetti, and more chaos. Except now, we need more space. Because by connecting this last belt, this project is done. We have our 334 Engaged industrial beams automated. <laughs> oh man, this took a minute and got pretty dang crazy, I must say. And uh, yeah, we are totally out of space. We have random pockets, like two tiles, like here and there, but overall, this place is full. Completely and utterly utilized. And any spots that are free are reserved for things I've planned ahead for. And so now, we will expand the platform, unfortunately, over in this direction. Which I don't honestly want to do because, you know, I thought we had enough space here, but I was wrong. And I totally underestimated the scale of this project, as I do. And since I refuse to build up with this project, at least as little as possible, we are just going to expand this platform out. And for those who forgot, pretty much, I follow the terrain and I just build directly over it. So if there's like a sand dune, place like a couple down there, then as the sand dune goes a little bit further down, then I build further down too, and that's how we get kind of like a wacky terrain pattern. But if we're building over the dirt, then we have to purify it. There are still signs of life everywhere, and they must be purged. What was that? Oh my gosh, life itself. Uh, go away. Much better. Oh no, 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 no. There ain't no escaping this. The factory must grow. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think so. Okay, you got one. You got one. Congratulations. A small price to pay to turn your family into radioactive ash. Also though, we're gonna expand over this way too, because we actually have quite a few more projects to build and we're gonna need a lot, a lot of space. <gasps> Wait, a tree? I don't like this tree. But it looks like the tree is gonna stay. Oh, and there's a drop pod over here. I wonder, have I opened this? 
Oh my gosh, I haven't. 50 megawatts? Oh, whatever shall we do? Can we spare it? Where are we at? Almost 297,000 megawatts? Uh, ooh, it's a steep cost, but I guess we should open this one up. Thank you. And yes, before you ask, I already have all the alternate recipes, so this one is useless! Now I have to live with the litter. But, at least, I won't have to see it. Because everything's concrete. However, we have an even greater problem than broken, unsightly equipment. I was gathering up everything we need for this project, right? And that's like 1,200 steel pipes, around 700 concrete, and then of course, all of our encased industrial beams. And I got everything here, but we're missing that one key ingredient, the modular frames. And where are they? Well, for all intents and purposes, they are on the other side of the entire world. Like the assemblers building them are at the beginning of this desert biome, right here. So, uh, this is gonna be a long belt. Or it would have been if past Gibbs hadn't thought a little bit ahead. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna truck them all the way over here. And then once we make the heavy mods their frames, we'll truck them back. Problem is, we don't exactly have a truck station available. All the ones I've built already are being used. So what are we going to do? Well, maybe if we follow this truck. Or maybe if we don't follow this truck and just follow the road, maybe we'll be able to find, oh hey, a new area for more truck stations. It's like we just built this. Fantastic. So I guess like, I don't know, here, we'll open this up. We will extend the platform at this height and adjust it. We'll have the trucks drive to the right here, then have the trucks go again to the right to some truck stops, like over here or something. Park for a moment, drop off the goods, and then scoot back to this road. And I don't know, I guess pull a Yui, head back this way, and follow this road back up to the main highway. Easily done! And this system can be expanded by having more road go over this way, building more truck stops over there, and heck, we can even do some more road shenanigans if we want to go further with it. But that is a thing for another day. Let's get this truck route all set up. So we build the truck, it'll stay here, we'll have it stop by a sip and scoot somewhere to pick up fuel, and then, wait a second. This is dumb. What am I do what am I doing? I'm gonna have the truck go all the way to the end here and do a Yui? Yeah, I gotta level with you. I did not think that one through very clearly, but now we have a way, way better design and we can fit in twice as many truck stations. So now the trucks just go down this road and then they go through the truck stations and over here is kind of an exit road where the trucks rejoin the main loop and the highways and whatever. So yeah, tested it out, all is fine, truck loop made, GG easy. And how we're gonna do things is we're gonna have two truck stations here for this project in particular. One truck station is going to unload all of the modular frames, and then it's gonna go to the next one and load the heavy modular frames to be used somewhere else. As for the belt work, pretty straightforward. The forward and back belts just go over to our new project area over here. And now we can get started on the manufacturers. Hooray, heavy mod to their frames forever. And how many of these manufacturers do we have to make? We need 100 heavy mod to their frames divided by 2.813. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a great number. The best number. Sure, like 36 of these? Yes? Ew. True. Yeah. 36. Okay. 
That's not like a lot. How will we go and set this up? We'll have the manufacturers going up this hill for sure. I don't know. I With things like this, it's just you got to start and figure it out from there. Like maybe I'll make some mistakes, sure, but starting is the hard part. Let's put a manufacturer down there. Leave a tile of space for some felt work because we know it's going to go crazy. Then can we get another one up front here? Yep. If we move that belt somewhere, this is going to be two, four, eight, ten. This is looking like it's room for six, so that's sixteen. And yeah, I guess over here we could manage the other twenty. And yeah, after an uncomfortable amount of finicky placements, everything is put down. And wow, was it very annoying. But at least the rest of this won't be. Because we only have one belt of concrete, one belt of modular frames, uh, one belt of encased industrial beams, and two belts of pipes here. So everything can pretty much be loaded in right here, just with a couple of leaves, and then split up and then overflowed through the entire rest of this area. I guess though with the steel pipes, We'd have to do something like this. We'd have a stack of these, like here. And depending on where we have the steel pipes, we're gonna have to have the second belt enter like a random point like that. But yeah, it, it's nothing like crazy. But it does end up looking complicated, that's for sure. But again, it's very, very simple. It's just we're gonna run out of steel pipes and we're topping up the line. It's 1,200, so yeah, this should be fine. And then everything else is just all the machines being hooked together. One giant overflow line going through 36 manufacturers. And now it's ready to rock and roll. So all we gotta do is connect up a few last belts with the actual items on them. And we'll start filling the machines. And the system is now fully operational. Right? I didn't accidentally do something wrong, like mix the wrong belts or something like that, no. Lights, please turn green. <laughs> please, I've already made my super blunder of the video, okay? You don't need to do this again. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. It's coming to life. And soon we will have our 100 heavy modular frames per minute. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. I almost did something real, real bad. The outputs and the inputs are coming through with one truck, right? So what if the truck gets full of heavy modular frames? Then it's gonna try and drop off those heavy modular frames into this station, which then goes into the normal modular frame belt. And if that happens, we'll have heavy modular frames and the modular frame belt in the whole system over there and it'll cause pandemonium. Long story short, dodging a bullet here, and we need to make an awesome sink immediately. We'll have a smart splitter here, and what it will do is it'll throw any through, no, 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 no. It has to be modular frames through the middle if they get full, then the overflow will go to the left, and then any heavy modular frames have to get out of this line too, because knowing me, something will go wrong, okay? This is simply how it goes. All right, and then I guess we'll have everything go into a merger here. That goes to there. This will circle around the back, and we'll get an awesome sink like somewhere, throw it some power, It'll make it pretty later, but for now, bullet dodged. And our production is online. Look at all those beautiful frames. And that is another massive manufacturing project done. And also another video as well. So I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye